Yo, what's up Bears fans? So I'm back again with another prediction video already because the Chicago Bears are playing again in just a couple days this Thursday on Thanksgiving Day, which that should be, it should be a very fun game. Like I'm very pumped up for this game as well. And we're coming off a very good win, obviously, against Minnesota Vikings on primetime TV. We're on primetime again, you know, this Thursday, but it's, it's an early start, 1130, which kind of sucks for the players especially. You know, the Chicago Bears, if you guys didn't know, we're actually, the Bears are the first team since 1970 to play in a 1 p.m. Eastern time start or earlier uh, on only having three days rest after a primetime game. So that's, that's a very specific stat. So take of it what you will, but it kind of shows like how much, how less rest the Bears are getting, which really sucks for them. I hope we stay healthy throughout this game. Because our players definitely did not get enough rest after that phenomenal win on, on uh, Sunday. But let's see what happens. Let's pray for the best. So after the game Sunday, news actually broke the next morning that Mitch Trubisky actually injured his shoulder in the, win, in the win against the Vikings. Which, at the time I'm recording this video, we don't know how bad the injury is. The Bears haven't really talked that much about it. We don't know if Trubisky is going to play or not. But based on what I've been hearing, it seems pretty likely that he is going to play. But there's still the chance that Chase Daniel will play. And, you know, guys, to be honest, I'm okay with Chase Daniel starting this game for us. I think we're still going to have a very good shot to win just because of our defense and how creative of a play caller, you know, Nagy is. And, you know, if Daniel's or if Daniel does start, it's not going to be like... Like, I would obviously much rather have Trubisky in this game because even though Daniel, he had some success success in the preseason, you know, the regular season is a completely different story. Like, it can be, he might not have that same level of success. You know, he is a backup quarterback for a reason. Like, he, he has not had that much success in the NFL being a starter. So, hopefully Trubisky starts, but Daniel, if he does have to start, he should get the job done as well. Let's take a look at our opponent for this week, and it's going to be none other than the Detroit Lions, which is a team that we just beat soundly, not even like a week and a half ago. So <laughs> that that loss should be fresh in the Lions' minds, you know, how bad we beat them. And people are going to want to say that this game should be an easy win for the Bears just because we beat them by a lot recently, and it just looks like, you know, we're on a four-game win streak. Everything is going well for us. We just beat the Vikings on Sunday Night Football. People are going to say that this should be an easy win for us, but I'm going to caution against saying that. And I actually think this is going to be a pretty close game throughout because the Detroit Lions are a different team at home. They have beat the Carolina Panthers, the New England Patriots, and the Packers at home, which especially like the Panthers and the, Pac the uh, Patriots, how did they beat those teams? Like the Lions didn't have, they did not have any business being those teams, but they are somehow a very different team at home and they're way more competitive at home so we cannot let our guards down in this game it's going to be a tough game especially considering that these two teams we have not had like we don't have any our players did not rest at all we only had three days of rest it's going to be one of those games that's like a grinded out gritty victory so let's get into the three keys to Bears victory key number one is going to be that we have to have an encore on special teams from last week and not from two weeks prior so the first game against the uh, Lions, our special teams really wet the bed. Like we did not have any success in that game. Cody Parkey missed a ton of field goals. It was just a very bad day for the special teams overall. And we need to have, you know, a repeat of what happened last week against the Vikings on special teams. Cody Parkey, you need to nail your kicks with confidence. Like you cannot go back to being that kicker, you know, that doesn't have confidence in himself, that cannot make extra points. You need to go out there and dominate like you're supposed to. And obviously the rest of the special teams, you know, kick returns, coverage units, just do your job. Like the one way the Lions can beat us in this game is that if their special teams actually dominates our special teams. So, you know, don't allow any return touchdowns. Tariq Cohen on the returns, just be smart. Get your yards. Don't go backwards too much. But if we can just have a sound day on special teams we should be able to win this game. Key number two is going to be give Jordan Howard 20 plus carries. Now I know that in most of our wins this year, Jordan Howard has not been a huge factor on the ground because 
Coach Nagy's offense, you know, it really revolves around the pass, the passing game, at least so far. And Jordan Howard, he has not been able to really showcase his talents. But in this game especially, if Trubisky is injured in this game at all, or if he's not 100%, or even more if Chase Daniel is starting in this game, we need to give Jordan Howard as many carries as we possibly can. You know, don't go back to John Fox days and give him, like, what, 30 carries a game. But I want him to get 20-plus carries because when he gets, I feel like when he gets 20-plus carries, he's a type of back, again, that gets better as the game goes on. And against a very bad Lions run defense, he should be able to gain yards on the ground and, you know, hopefully have his best day of the season so far. I think he can definitely, he should be able to get 100 yards in this game because it's going to be one of those games that's going to be a grinded out, hard-fought victory. And Jordan Howard is the perfect type of back for those types of games. So Jordan Howard, let's see if we can give him the ball 20 plus times because if we do so, I think we're going to have a lot of success. And finally, key number three is going to be that our defense has to have a Thanksgiving feast. I want all of our boys, Akeem Hicks, Danny Trevathan, Roquan Smith, Eddie Jackson, Eddie Goldman, whoever I'm missing, Khalil Mack. Like, go in there hungry. Go in there to eat and feast because that's what you guys are capable of doing. You know, there's not much to say about our defense because our defense, it doesn't do many things wrong. Like, we're, like, very solid against the pass. Our secondary is outstanding. Our pass rush is incredible. The play of our linebackers, you know, tackling, forcing turnovers, forcing interceptions, you know, scoring touchdowns off of turnovers. Our defense is among the best in the NFL at all of these things. So this Thanksgiving, I want us to feast on Matt Stafford and the Lions. Khalil Mack, let's get some sacks. Akeem Hicks, you know, stop the run. Eddie Jackson, let's make some more pick sixes. Kyle Fuller, make some plays on the ball. Roquan Smith, you know, get some hard hits in. And overall, if we can feast on this team like we did in the past and like we're capable of doing, this is going to be another one of those wins where even if our offense does not play good, we're still going to get the victory because of our dominant defense. So defense, let's eat. So finally, let's get into my prediction for this game. And I actually have the Chicago Bears winning this game 23-20 to in Detroit on Thanksgiving. And, you know, my predictions have been way off most of the time, so I'm not going to spend too much time justifying my score prediction, but I really think it's going to be a low-scoring game because, again, it's the type of game where you just have to grind it out because both teams, they have not had a chance to fully prepare for this game. They're coming off of, you know, barely any rest, and it's an early start, so you're not going to see many flashy plays. And Trubisky, I think... Uh, you know, he's obviously injured right now, so I don't think he's going to be at his best. And even if Trubisky was fully healthy, you know, we're still playing the Detroit Lions at their house. And Darius Slay is back too, so regardless, I don't think Trubisky would have been able to fully repeat his offensive explosion from the last game. But let's see, hopefully Trubisky proves me wrong. He has in the past, so Trubisky, if you're watching this, which you're probably not, go out there and prove me wrong, even if you're injured. So... Yeah, it's like I said, it's going to be an ugly game to watch, but it's still going to be a lot of fun because the Bears I have winning because of their dominant defense. You know, Matt Stafford, I don't know what he's going to be able to do in this game. He has some weapons, but I've been reading that Kerryon Johnson, he's not going to be playing. And Kerryon Johnson was the main, was one of the only things that they had going for them in the last game against us. And their pass protection has been very bad recently. I expect our defense to, again, just feast on Matt Stafford, force him to make some very bad throws. He's not going to be comfortable in the pocket at all, so he's going to have to move out, make some very bad throws. And I trust our offense enough to pull out, you know, to have some good plays and make make plays when it counts. And they're, as a team, we're just going to grind it out, and we're going to get this hard-fought victory. The MVP of this game I have being Akeem Hicks. Akeem Hicks is a big man, if you guys haven't realized. And he needs to eat. Like, he will be hungry for this game. Akeem Hicks always, he's the one player that even if he isn't fully rested, even if he doesn't have that much time to prepare for something, 
his motor just he has like one of the best motors in the entire NFL. He's always, you know, high energy, just always pumping everybody up, always playing at his best. So this is the type of game that I really think Akeem Hicks can dominate. Like he's gonna be very key in stopping the run. He might even get to Matt Stafford. He might force some fumbles. You never know. So Akeem Hicks, he's gonna have a big day because he wants to feast on this team. He's a big man. He needs to eat. And I have him along with the rest of the defense just dominating once again. So that's going to wrap up the video. As always, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about my predictions, if you agree with them, if you disagree, who you think MVP is going to be, who you think is going to have a good day, and so on. And we actually also have a group chat going on between me and some of the other subscribers. So if you guys want to join that chat, you know, feel free to join. It's, the link will be down below. We have a lot of fun. We just discuss about the Bears, you know, post memes, whatever. So we'd love to have as many of you guys as possible. The link is down below to join. And overall, again, I think this game is going to be a very hard-fought, very close, grinded out victory because the Lions, even though we have a much better team than the Lions, you know, we haven't had a lot of rest. It's in Detroit, so look for this game to, very, to be very ugly and very gritty. But the Bears are going to win this one because this year we just... We have the it factor. Like, this team, there's something very special about this team. It's just so cohesive. There's so many, so much talent on both sides of the ball. So the Bears are going to win this game in a close one. And I'm probably not going to post anything on Thanksgiving or before then. So wishing all of you guys a happy Thanksgiving. Celebrate with your family, with your friends, whoever you're celebrating with. Eat as much turkey as you possibly can. You know, cranberry sauce, whatever the hell you guys eat. So... Have fun on Thanksgiving. The Bears are going to win. 8-3. Let's get it. Bear down.